Brent Mulvey is with the team but will not be in uniform tonight. Bobby McVillan is back home. He could not make the trip because of a uh, bruise to the leg. And also, Paul Gagne is still out because of uh, the problem with his groin. And, uh... and the crowd is divided about equally tonight. When the two teams are to be introduced, you will hear reactions both ways because plenty of Islander fans have come out tonight and on the eve of the opener, coming right up here in just a couple of minutes. At the Meadowlands Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey, where Peter McNabb and Stan Fischler and Matt Laughlin and I have had the good fortune to be inside on a lot of thrilling nights. This time, we're outside on another very exciting night, the official team celebration by the New Jersey Devils of their Stanley Cup championship. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Emmerich. Remember this guy? He doesn't have wire covering his face this time. Long time and legendary. <laughs> Devils goaltender Glenn Chico Reich, great having you here. It's great to be here, Mike. Trotche shoved by Melrose again as the horn sounds, and the Devils have this one. Their first victory of the season. Their first two points of the year. As they seal up the Red Wings on opening night at Joe Louis Arena by a final count of 6-3. to three. Memorable night for the Devils and for Chico Reich. Centering pass in front as back it's to Boudelier for drive. Save on the plate of Reich. Five seconds to go. Not a capacity, but a big crowd erupts. Chico Reich wins his 200th. The Devils with a spectacular opening to their third season in the Meadowlands. We hope you're enjoying our coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs on ESPN. This is game six. Devils lead the game 4-1 and the best of seven series, three games to two. Tailgating began this afternoon at about 2 o'clock again. And it was chilly here this afternoon, but they had the grills out. Quite a party they'll have tonight if the Devils go on to win this. And the fans are standing to salute the Devils for six straight. And Martin Brodeur for his first ever shutout. Something like this comes back to you so often in your lifetime. This time passes so quickly, but yet it seems so long when you recount it years later. Uh, I don't know uh, how to appropriately close this. Our coverage is completed here, but uh, there have been so many memories that have flooded through both of us, and I think through you as well, uh, those of you who follow the Devils all year long. Uh, to capsule it is very difficult. We'll, we'll give it a try. It was wonderful. It was exciting. It was great being with Michael. you.